Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are working on this Volkswagen ID4. My name is Andre, and I'm the painter here at LNC. And today, we're going to be painting this brand new Volkswagen ID4. The game plan is to replace the fender, repair the bumper, and blend the door, make it look just like new, and send the car home. So we're gonna do just that. We got a brand new fender. We're gonna first jam it, install it back on the car, R and I all the trim on the door, on the hood, on the bumper, and then we're gonna paint everything complete. So I got the Volkswagen new fender in the spray booth. We stuffed it up and it's ready for sealer. The color is called Blue Dusk and the color code is LD5F and instructions say use undercoat G7, which is a dark gray sealer for the proper color match. So I got my sealer mixed up. Needed a couple ounces, it's a very small fender. So our Volkswagen ID4 is ready for paint. It's time to prep it, get in the spray booth, and start spraying. We got the new fender fitted. Everything's looking good. The color match looks good. So we're gonna just paint the fender, blend the door. Also, we got a brand new bumper here. Uh, the old bumper, I think, had a broken tab. So we decided to replace the bumper. So put sealer on the bumper, paint it, clear it, along with the car, and we should be ready to go. The wheel, got sent out to uh, reconditioning so it'll come back looking like a new wheel and we'll install that after we paint this is what we're looking like we disassembled the belt molding the mirror and all the trim so let's mask it up prep it and then get it inside So I tape off everything around the areas that we're gonna prep. That way we don't scuff any unwanted panels. And I'm ready to prep my fender using a 600 grit DA. And then this 600 grit scuff pad to get all the edges. And then for my blend panel, we're gonna use 1000 grit DA. And then go around all the edges with this 600 grit scuff pad. So you want everything to look matte like this. You don't want to see any shiny areas and you want to make sure you get all the corners nice and well. You got to be careful with, uh, with Volkswagens and Lamborghinis. You got to be careful because these body lines are super sharp. So you literally just have to go once like that. Otherwise you're going to burn through the paint and you're going to have to put base coat there. So all these sharp lines, we're just going to be careful prepping them to make sure we don't burn through.
Before I start spraying, we put sealer on our bumper as well. I actually applied sealer on the bumper while the car was masked up. That way we didn't get any overspray from the sealer on the fender and door. So here's what our bumper looks like. I got my toe cap right there. I always paint my toe caps off the bumper. That way we can get paint into the little grooves over there. This bumper is very interesting looking. There's like a big grill that goes in here. Kind of looks like that oven from home alone the little grills shutters that go like that in light of christmas month it's december 1st today so it's going to be our first job of december definitely not last so the bumper is sealed it's ready to go like i said we're going to do one more wipe down on the fender and door and then i got my base coat left over from when i jammed the fender it's gonna be a nice easy blend since I already put color on the edges of the fender and I know everything matches perfect, I'm just gonna fill in the rest of the fender, blend it out lightly. And same with the bumper, we'll do my two coats plus a control coat. For those of you that are new and don't know what a control coat is or not in the automotive industry, a control coat is pretty much a coat where you turn down the pressure back away from the panel. So you even out all the metallics and make it all uniform by spraying further away from the panel and doing a lot of overlaps. So let's do our base coats, two coats, plus a control coat, and then we'll do two coats of clear. Like always, make it look like new. Let's go. down on the bumper on the door and fender i did a uniform blender it's pretty much a clear base coat that's going to give us a nice uniform foundation for our base coat to blend into so we're going to dry that real quick and then do our first coat of base
I have quite the base coat, the paint is dry, it's looking silky smooth and uniform, exactly what we want to see. And we got a nice smooth blend on the door. So I got my clear coat mixed up and ready to spray, so we're going to do our two coats and we'll be finished. Let's go! The car is finally painted and it's looking beautiful. Can't wait to see it all assembled, washed and detailed. So let's pull this car out of the spray booth, get our body man on it, get it assembled. I think we should have all the parts, so it should be ready today. We'll get it washed, detailed and ready to go. And then I'll let you guys see what it looks like once it's all finished. 